Hey guys, good afternoon. Right behind me here is a chiller. It's a small chiller used to chill a chilled water coil air handler to cool hallways in this particular building I am at. Um, I just want to show you guys why we have to open up equipment in order to clean some of them. This particular design, it may look clean from the outside. The uh, coil is a little bit dirty, but I guarantee you, once I take the roof off this unit, I'm going to separate the condenser coil. I'm going to separate it, and you're going to see it's all matted up. Um, I haven't been to this facility in probably 10 years, but I know it's going to be plugged up. These train units are just notorious for just collecting in between, so I'll show you how that's done. First, you lock out, tag out your power. Two, disconnect your condenser fan motor wires. Three, take out all your screws all the way around and take the roof off. Okay, we'll go from there. Okay guys, on top of here, you do want to spray out all that crud from inside the bottom and pick up all the heavy debris, such as leaves and whatnot. But I'm gonna take off these, this trim around the top here. And as you can see, it is a split coil. I can already see it's packed in there. So get ready for this once I open this up some more. This should be done yearly, by the way. Okay, you can separate these, split coils, all right? Okay, I opened it up just enough to get in here. You can open, open it more to get down in these extra little bits, which I will do gently. Now, it does split. Take a look inside, okay? Doesn't look bad from the outside. Doesn't look too bad. These a little cleaning at the top, but I recommend doing this at least once per year, okay? Especially if it's in a high traffic area. Okay, so the unit's not working how it should. It's gonna run a lot longer to do the same job, um, causing more wear and tear on the, on the equipment, causing efficiency to drop, causing the higher electric bill for your customer, causing callbacks, high head pressure and whatnot, and higher discharge air temp. So I'm going to take a garden hose and go ahead and clean that off, guys. Here we go. Okay guys, so this is from pollen, dirt, debris, um, heavy traffic in the neighborhood, construction dust and whatnot. But yeah, you could just go ahead and separate. Now, after you pull out a majority of your debris from the bottom, first I like to hit it with water, okay? First thing, okay? Go, for, go from top down, get that heavy stuff off, as you can see, working well. Okay, doesn't take long to do. This isn't backbreaking work. And as you can see, it's working like a dream, okay? So I go from that way first. Then after that's done, then I go from the inside out, okay? Inside out. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the rest of this in here. I'll even show you here. All that heavy stuff, you can brush it off, but honestly, we're fine with water. And so on.
then you can go ahead and rinse her away. Okay guys, today's choice of cleaner is from Viper. I've used this product many times before. Works very well. You get it on your skin, no big deal, just rinse her off. Believe it or not, believe it or not, I've had these units plugged up so bad, the head pressure goes up so high, the units will sit there and shake, like literally shake on their foundation. It's pretty scary watching, so make sure you clean them. Always clean out your coil guns when you're done. Okay guys, after about 10 minutes of letting that sit on, you want to go ahead and rinse that product off as best as you can. This thing's going to breathe easy now. It's going to run tip-top shape like new. Okay guys, we look a heck of a lot better inside, okay, heck of a lot better than outside. Yeah, we are good. This thing's going to breathe easy, work 100% once again. Looking good. Make sure you clean both sides, inside out, top down, every which way, and then rinse it off as far as you can. And then we're going to go ahead and put this back together. So, rinse off the ground some more.
Now we're going to let this run, dry out the coil. Once it's all dry, then we can check our pressures. But I changed the filters inside, the belt inside, and uh, cleaned the coil real well. So just part of maintenance. Don't always assume something's wrong with the equipment until you do a good maintenance. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys are learning. Have a good day. Thank you very much.